Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install the ModWinf app and how to use it for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you're interested but all you have to do is simply go to your search bar and search up ModWinf, like so. Once you've done that, you should see modwinf.com. Simply click on the modwinf link. And once you're done, all you have to do here is simply go on the button called Get Modwinf App. It is right here on the top of the website. Once you click that, it will tell you like you want to download the modwinf app for Windows or for Mac or Linux. I'll just do download for Windows here. And now we have the modern app, at least installed. So to use the modern app, we will just have to close the web browser and we can now go to our file explorer to access the downloads folder. Once we have found our modern app, all we have to do is simply double click it. It'll tell us do you want to make changes to our device, just say yes. And now we have the modern app set up. So what you want to do here is simply do next, next, and next. And here we have, do you want to run it? So this is what's going to happen once we're going to close the app. It's going to automatically open. And this is just going to do a shortcut on the desktop. So if I do finish, it will open up the app. And now we have the app open. So what you want to do from now is quite easy. You want to, number one, log in with your Minecraft account because you want to be able to play servers and everything. Modern is just an easier way to add mods, so you need to be able to play Minecraft like if it was everything else. So what you need to do is simply go on select account and it says not signed in. Simply click login. And now it's going to give you a Microsoft pop-up to sign in to your Microsoft Minecraft account. So let's just have your quick. Alrighty, so now once we have logged in, we can see we have our Minecraft account which shows up and now we can get started. The first thing you want to do once you're logged in is go to the plus icon to create a new instance. Once you've done this, you're going to have custom from file or input from launcher. This is if you really have one in mind. The icon, you can add your own icon, but what we're actually mainly interested in is starting from here. You have to give it a name, so I'll just do modfin. Like so, doesn't really matter. And here we have all loaders. You want a Vanilla, Fabric, Forge, Neoforge, or Quilt installer. What this is, it's mainly what mods you want to run. Vanilla doesn't have mods, but here, for example, I will select Fabric, but you just have to look for your specific mod and what loader it needs. But Fabric has a lot of mods, so most likely Fabric will work for you. Then we have game version. So select game version and this is just what version do you want to run with. So I'll just choose the latest one but you might need to choose an older one because your mod does not support the latest one or the dependencies for this mod does not support the latest version as well. So simply select whatever version works for your mod and what you want to do now is simply go on show advanced and here we can do do you want disabled version, latest or other. This is really specific but if you really want to like have like latest loader version for modwin for specific mods you can do this but for most of you guys staying on stable will be completely fine it was just important for me to show you that so now what you want to do is simply go on create and now it's downloading java 21 because java 20 work, works with 1.21 and it's also downloading modwin so it sounds like minecraft so the actual minecraft 1.1.4 file so let's just wait for that. Alrighty, so once Minecraft 1.1.4 or whatever version you have chosen has downloaded, you can now go to your modwinf icon here, which is just the name of whatever instance you have. And now we have this page. So the first thing you want to do with this page is go to the settings right here, the settings button, instance settings. And here you can change a lot of things, but it's mainly Java and memory. And here you want to be able to add a bit more memory to your 
Minecraft installation. So this really depends how much memory you have free. But as you're using like a bit more mods and stuff, adding a bit more than the custom two gigabytes might be good, but you have to make sure how much gigabytes you have left. I'll just put four in there. That's good enough for mods and stuff, but you can also use two, it'll be fine. Just make sure that you are indeed using not too much memory if you don't have enough memory to even support it if you're using other apps at the same time but that should be enough all you want to do now is simply close this and what you want to do is simply go to install content right here so click on install content and now this is just like the modern website basically what i mean by that is that we can go on iris shaders that's a mod and if we do iris shaders to get shaders for minecraft you click install and now we have iris shaders so if we go back to the loader here it has also downloaded sodium for us because it's a dependency and it just helps you not do any mistakes as in forgetting specific dependencies and stuff so that's perfect because iris needs sodium to work that's why it has downloaded two mods but we also need to have shaders so if we go to install content right here we go to shaders and we now we can select any shader i'll just use vsl and we can also add ourselves a resource pack let's choose the resource pack that we can add what about faithful why not and there you go and data packs is specifically for worlds but we can also add to this as well we can do table lift why not there you go so now we have added everything here if we go here we have a list of all of the modifications we have added and once you're happy with what you have all you have to do is simply go on the play icon and Minecraft is going to load up. Okay, here is Minecraft. Press enter to enable the narrator. And yes, it will reset your settings as this is a new Minecraft instance. So make sure that you put all your settings back in there. But once you've done this, you will have everything that you want. So for example, what we want to do here is just go to a single player world. And as we have table lift, what we can do is simply just create a new world. And we're going to have experimental settings because we have a data pack, which changes how the terrain forms. And this will be a good showcase on the different things we have downloaded. So. Number one, we have Terralift. So here we can see that we have different terrain. This is not Minecraft Java terrain, obviously. We don't have the biomes update just yet, but this is Terralift in action, giving us new biomes for Minecraft. So that's for that the data pack we have downloaded. Now for the resource pack, it is quite easy as well to activate the resource pack. What you want to do is simply go on escape, options, resource pack and we just want to click play and done once it's in the selected option and we should have faithful 64 selected as well so now we have faithful with 64 graphics here a 64 pixel graphics selected for minecraft here if we do f3 we can see our four gigabytes of ram has been saved and for the shaders of course to add shaders you have to do escape options video settings here we have our sodium which was the dependency for iris and once we're done simply go on bsl apply and we're done so here we now have shaders we have the data pack we have the resource pack and everything in between so yeah that is how we use modern app to get minecraft running with a bunch of modifications on it so yeah if you liked today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye